Hi, everybody. It's Stephanie Parra, Government Relations Director uh, with the Arizona Education Association, joining you live here um, at our headquarters. I have a special guest with me today. Um, this is Marisol Garcia, is our Vice President. Um, she's joining me today. We have some really um, exciting news to share with you all that occurred yesterday in Senate Education Committee. Um, so Marisol is here to um, to share more about that. But we wanted to start off uh, just with a, a huge shout out. Um, what a week it's been for educators in Arizona. Um, and a big shout out to Arizona Educators United on such a successful Red for Ed Day. AEA is, is so proud and excited to support the movement. Uh, the time is definitely now for change and we are absolutely standing in solidarity with all of our educators in the state um, to start building the movement together. So, and we know that we took an action today. Um, AEU members uh, took an action and so in, we wanted to participate as well. Um, and so I will start us off. So why I am red for Ed. Um, I firmly believe teachers are my heroes. Um, you all are the nation builders. I absolutely believe that um, every student, regardless of where they live, um, deserves a high quality public education. And of course, education is the foundation of our democracy. That's why I'm Red Fred. So, Marisol? Do I have one or does somebody else? Uh, oh, look one. who's here. I have one. Oh. Wait, why Another. I'm Red Fred? Mm hmm. This, this is, <laughs> lo go lower. Oh, There's hi. I can see. <laughs> my daughter's a teacher. I love her and I'm very proud of her, and she needs to be respected. And this is? Doug Kilgore, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doug. Uh, and I, here's mine, here's, oh, do you oh, want to oh, oh, here's here's put a photo bomb and oh, say hi okay. to everybody? This is she Shannon. Shannon. We're having fun today. <laughs> um, and this is mine, um, I wore red for Ed because um, it's my 13th year teaching, and I can probably count on one hand how many of the teachers I taught with my first year are still in education, still in Arizona. And that is a huge problem, especially for my son and for my students to not be able to come back to the schools they started in and not be able to see the teachers that they love and, and trusted. So I'm sick of my friends leaving to do another uh, profession. Um, I'm worried that next year, my son who's in fifth grade or sixth grade, he's getting mad at me, um, that next year he may not have a qualified teacher. There's no guarantee. Um, and clearly folks are making decisions for my son and they, they may not be the best people to be in front of him and he's gonna compete to get a job. And I'm frustrated because I feel completely supported by my leadership at my site, the leadership of my district, but I don't feel supported by the governor right now. So um, this, is a, a, this is why I wore red and I'm gonna wear it next week and I hope that you will um, join us and, and join um, you, the United Educators um, of Arizona to do that. And I'm just really hopeful that we're all gonna get on board. Awesome. Thank you. So um, if you haven't done your Why You're Red for Ed, make sure you do it today, post it. We'd love to see um, your um, reasons for uh, putting on your red shirts and, and being loud and proud about being educators in Arizona um, and education advocates. Um, so a couple of exciting updates. We um, had two bills move this session, um, this uh, week, uh, AEA bills. So you all know we've been working really hard on um, reforming our teacher evaluation framework. Um, there is a bill moving. We've been working with uh, Representative Boyer. Um, he, his bill essentially gets rid of the teacher evaluation framework in statute and makes it so that um, our local districts uh, will be creating their uh, evaluations um, in partnership with, with educators at the local level. So we're firmly supportive of local control and we think that this is a, a great move in the right direction. The bill did get out of committee unanimously yesterday and um, we'll head to rules and, and move on to the floor from there. Um, and that would be the last stop before heading over to the governor's desk. So we are so pumped um, that we are we are nearing the finish line um, and our bill is, is still uh, chugging along. Um, and the other really exciting one is related to English language learners and I'm gonna let Marisol uh, talk more about that. So the bill is HB 2435 and we've seen a lot of teachers get excited about the notion that they're actually gonna be able to do what's best for kids being not only research-based but just being a edu professional educator and knowing what's best for our kids. And so this bill will allow locals 
uh, local districts to make a decision on what's best for their kids. It still has the amount of minutes that have to be met. That's because it's voter protected and that's within um, statute. But what this will allow us to do is to work with our families, work with our district, work with our colleagues and say, you know, we have a better plan of action for those minutes. It may look different. But I know for me, teaching SEI and being a social studies teacher, having the capacity to be able to make sure every single one of my kids had social studies, has science, has PE, has everything that they need, that's not happening across the state. And we've left out a chunk of students and we've done them a disservice and we've actually hurt their possibilities to do well beyond high school. Um, and so we're just really excited that too passed unanimously. Um, we, it's something to be excited about and it's something really want you all to get behind and, and please share this so that people will know these are two great things that we're working on. Awesome. Um, so just want to give you guys a heads up about what's coming up next week. So next Wednesday, I know a lot of you guys are, are celebrating this evening with the start of spring <laughs> break. Um, so congratulations on making it to spring break. Um, I am hopeful that if you are um, on your spring break that you will join me and Marisol down at the Capitol next Wednesday, um, March 14th. Um, it's our first uh, spring break at the Capitol. We have a great agenda lined up for you guys. Um, we will, uh, Marisol and I will be doing a, a legislative briefing and Joe as well. Um, just kind of giving you guys an update of where, where we are um, in the session. We'll hear from a panel of legislators um, on their perspective um, as it relates to the state of education in Arizona. Um, you'll get to ask them questions, engage in conversation with these members, um, and then we will go over for a group photo on the Senate floor. So very um, excited about the opportunity to, to really demonstrate our, um, our solidarity and our power down at, at the Capitol. And we've extended this invitation out to, to folks that are members of the Arizona Educators United group um, to, to come down, and, and we are encouraging everyone. It's Wednesday, so wear your red. Um, and, and definitely show up at the Capitol with us. Um, and also happening on Wednesday, um, it's um, I ironic and, and really excellent actually that, that this bill is on a committee agenda for Wednesday. So this is Senate Bill 1467, is related to the student tuition organizations um, and the private school scholarship expansion. It's on the House Ways and Means Committee agenda on Wednesday morning as well. Um, so again, if you are heading down to the Capitol, we would love to pack the house um, and have educators speak out against the bill. This again, um, while the president is, is saying that it is not increasing um, STOs, it absolutely is. Um, mm -hmm. It increases the maximum scholarship amount faster every year, expands scholarships for children who were homeschooled or uh, children that moved into Arizona from another state. Uh, they would never have to attend uh, a public school and they would be qualified for the scholarship. It also grows the diversion um, of public school dollars to private schools yeah. by making it easier for families to kind of go between the empowerment scholarship accounts or the vouchers and the STOs, the private uh, tuition uh, scholarships. So, um, and then of course it maintains the annual growth at 20%. So. Um, a lot of public school dollars being diverted to private schools. We want to stop this bill um, and would love to have your support at the Capitol next Wednesday. Um, and then uh, the last thing I wanted to flag for next week um, on Thursday, uh, March 15th on the House government calendar is the um, SCR 1034. This relates to the Independent Redistricting Commission. Um, this bill has uh, not been a, a bipartisan process. And because it is such a, a critical role that the, that the Independent Redistricting Commission plays in our state um, in drawing our legislative maps, if there are going to be changes, we firmly believe that it should be done in a, in a bipartisan manner. manner. Um, it should not be legislation that's drafted um, you know, behind closed doors without uh, bipartisan support. So, uh, we will continue to speak out against this bill, um, and hopefully we can stop it in the House as well. Um, so, 
I think that's all. So I'm going to challenge you guys. We, I went around um, and we're at visiting sites and meeting with teachers on Wednesday. And I saw a lot of members um, really actively engaged and wearing red, but I also saw some potential members wearing red. So we really want to have a discussion about what they want to do. What do they want to see happen? How do they want their jobs to change? What are some direct things they want to see get better? Um, so that when they get, when we have this access point to talk to people, do it. I also was so excited to see people who are not in the classroom posting things. I'm supporting you guys, um, business owners, all those people. Engage, have conversations at Walgreens, at Fry's. Talk to people about why you're doing this because the more people we have on our team, the better chance we have to win. So really want to encourage you to take these opportunities to build relationships that are long lasting, but even more importantly, so that when it comes time to do some bigger stuff, some bigger, great, amazing things, we have a solid team behind us. So thanks, Stephanie, for everything you do for our members. I really appreciate it. I know sometimes it's hard down there, <laughs> but really appreciate it. You all share this out, not only to your locals, to your members, to those people who are not like, I don't know what's going on. Share it out. We need more people to see this and to get involved, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Yes. yes Wednesday. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.